All right, Virgo, welcome to your weekly horoscope for March 22nd through the 28th. My name is Athen. Okay, so we have a very nice week, actually. Nothing but positive aspects in the major aspect grid for the week. And for you, it's a lot to do with your seventh house, of course, because that's where we had the solar eclipse energy back on Friday. Also with your routine and things like this, which I'll talk about. But on Friday, you had perhaps, and this is over the weekend too, leading into this week, some realizations or wanting to start something new with relationships or one-on-one -on -one connections or partnerships, uh, maybe legal matters, anything that has to do with those one-on-one uh, -on -one connections, but probably relationships in general. It's, uh, it's going to start to really motivate you as we get into this week, especially around Monday when we have Mars going into Aries. But I think it has been motivating for you because Mars has been transiting your seventh house. So I think you guys have been very driven about these things. But with this solar eclipse energy, it's a new beginning here with relationships for the next six months. And so this week is the beginning of the beginning of this major shift and cycle uh, of the solar eclipse uh, cycle, which is going to be then sort of lay the foundations for the upcoming weeks, you see. So it starts on Sunday when we have your ruler sextiling up to Pluto from your sixth house. So I think recently you guys have started maybe some routines, some regiments, some self-improvement types of matters with Mercury in your sixth house. So on Sunday, it's a fantastic day for these things with a sextile from Pluto as an opportunity to continue to move forward with anything that has to do with self-improvement or helping and assisting others is another element of the sixth house uh, as well. So good energy to utilize there Sunday. And in many ways, if it is like health related or routine related, it could be a good segue and beginning of the week, which then on Monday, uh, when we have Mars going into Aries, it'll it'll facilitate that if it is time or, or routine or health related. So yeah, on, on Monday, we have Mars going into Aries. So this is where I think you guys have been enjoying the deeper elements of life, or at least could be with Venus in your eighth house. This is the openness, wanting to get open, wanting to get deep with relationships, wanting that transparency. So now with Mars there, there's a motivation here. There's wanting to take maybe things to another level, but this is not just in one relationship, although it could be. It's just in general, in your life. So by another level, I mean maybe it's with your work, wanting to get really deep with that. Maybe it's just with people in general, wanting to be more vulnerable and open and transparent in relationships in your life. Because that's what life truly is about. It's about those deep connections. It's about those bonds. That's that watery connection that is that eighth house. So that's what you guys, I think, are really driven to do, determined to do from Monday onward. And you certainly have that energy to move energy towards those things. It can also be on a more physical level. It could be shared resources, such as things like, uh, you know, uh, uh, business partnerships where you start to get together with like certain finances and working together on a deeper level in the business, you see. Uh, but uh, it could be shared resources. It could be um, debts, wanting to pay off debts, any types of bondages that are keeping in bondage that you're wanting to break free from. A lot of things like that where it's you enjoying life from what life is truly about, right? You're seeing past the veils, past all the layers, past all the, the chains and bondages that might be preventing us from really enjoying the deeper elements of life, you see. So that's Mars for the next roughly the next couple months in your eighth house which is very powerful now that's also the time of the crescent phase so the lunar energies are going to be low so if you're feeling that motivational energy on monday by all means move that energy forward but treat it kind of still like a learning experience at least until about tuesday wednesday once the energies of the lunar cycle start to build and then we can really implement that uh, a lot more but um, it's just a building of energy once the ball gets moving then the energy starts the momentum starts to build on Monday and Tuesday, we have your ruler Mercury conjuncting up to Chiron, and that's in your sixth house. So there is the healing taking place through the routines of the diet or the regiments, things like this, or again, maybe helping heal others. So a fantastic week, uh, fantastic day for that Monday and Tuesday in particular. And I think you'll feel very rejuvenated by putting in that energy to do some of that healing again whether it's for yourself or others in that sort of way and then on Tuesday after the aspect takes place I think you will feel very rejuvenated and revitalized if you've done that which will then facilitate and put the energy uh, into more momentum for you throughout the week now on Monday and Tuesday as well Venus sextiles up to Neptune which is aspecting your eighth house and your sixth house again so back to the routine stuff there's lots of flow. You guys are understanding the importance of perhaps meditation of or doing something that puts you into a meditative state, having that peace and presence in the day-to-day -day environment. 
because Neptune in the sixth is about releasing and letting go when it comes to these things. So it could be through meditation and you definitely, definitely be good for you, by the way, things like meditation, relaxation, anything that puts you into a meditative state, which will help you get more done. It'll help you manage your time better or whatever else you're involved with in the sixth house or heal others or what have you. So uh, a good energy there with those things Monday and Tuesday. Again, wanting to get deeper. It's very compassionate. It's very, so with the relationship stuff, a fantastic day for relationships here, Monday and Tuesday. Could be romantic, could be just compassion, acceptance, things going very uh, just peaceful with relationships in general. Now on Wednesday when we have the first quarter phase of the lunar cycle, the sun trines up to Saturn. So this is a good productive energy, especially with the first quarter phase, because the first quarter phase is usually the first challenges or the first energy where we have to really push through to get the ball moving even more towards the um, you know these goals or whatever it is that you're involved with from that solar eclipse probably relationships maybe a routine but uh, whatever it is Tuesday Wednesday Thursday is a great um, productive energy Saturn is the aspect of yourself that has the discipline the hard work the determination the pragmatism the patience and so all of that is supporting you which is a long lasting energy to help move through this first quarter phase and get that ball moving a very nice trine from Saturn is a beautiful thing to assist us here now Mercury your ruler goes into Pisces into your seventh house here on Friday for the next few weeks so this is about relationships again I think you're gonna be starting to think more about relationships and applying a lot more of what you've learned or what you've experienced about relationships in your day-to-day -day environment so do that by all means for the next few weeks you know maybe learn more about relationships treat them as learning experiences because that's what mercury is about is learning through experience and you'll learn a lot through that pro that process but also things will flow in that day-to-day -day level when you're wanting to interact wanting to exchange with others and these types of things you see so definitely a shift here it's already been highly relationship related but from Friday it'll be more much more about applying it and I think feeling very optimistic about it too because on Friday Venus squares up to Jupiter who is in your 11th house and Venus is in your 8th so like I said I think you've been wanting to get deep with relationships in general so I think that right there that deepness that depth that truthfulness that transparency is really creating an optimism for you or at least there is a great optimism that can be had through this but we want to keep it nice and balanced because it's a square it's too benefic so it's not like a bad energy or anything or challenging for that matter it comes across as very nice it comes across as very optimistic very opportunistic very beautiful energy but we don't want to go to any extremes with it right so this can be extremes with relationships we want to keep, make sure we keep everything nice and balanced it could also be extremes with spending and these types of things maybe with the shared resources or whatever or it could be with friends with that Jupiter I think you guys have had a lot of opportunities to open up your network circles since the uh, middle part of last year so you still have those opportunities although Jupiter's retrograde uh, you're going direct here in about a week which is nice but um, it could be through friends or network circles or something like this that you see those opportunities but remember just keep it nice and balanced watch any overindulgence and I think you'll be getting the most out of it all right Virgo have a great week thank you all for your support if you'd like a personal reading check the link down below this is just an overview of the uh, planets in the sky if you'd like me to look at your personal planets and how these aspects are um, involved with those please get in touch have a fantastic week and I'll talk to you next time take care